Hello guys, welcome to today's Daily Dose of Maths. Today's video is Paper 3 A-Levels Integration. And we are going to learn a very important tactic. And let's first give it a try yourself. I'm going to show you the question. You guys are going to pause the video, give it a try, and then we'll see what the tactic is. So let's start. The question that I want you guys to solve is basically integral of cosecant to theta. So this is the integral that I want you guys to solve. You guys can pause the video, try to think for a while and then come back to for the solution. So for those of you who have tried and have been successful, I would congratulate you for being an exceptional mathematician because under usual circumstances, this question cannot be solved by an A-level student with the knowledge of A-levels. This is basically a trap that I set up for this video. This cannot be integrated directly under A-level syllabus. What you have to do is, you have to know that this is generally a second part of a question that will have a first part earlier on. The first part would be an identity proving and the identity that is, um, I think it's cot theta plus tan theta is a two cosecant two theta. So this is the identity that you must have proven in the previous part and in the second part, they will ask you to hence integrate this portion. So it will now become really easy for you. Uh, you're going to make a secant two theta subject from the identity above, and we can see it will become integral of uh, cot theta plus tan theta divided by two d theta. Uh, for this step, what I have done is I have made cosecant two theta subject from the original equation, uh, the identity that was given in the first part. Now we can take one by two common outside and we will integrate both of these separately. So I'm going to write integral of cot theta plus integral of tan theta. Now we know from basic integral principles that cot theta is and tan theta both are integ integrated by bringing them to their fraction form. So cot theta is cos theta over sine theta d theta plus tan theta is sine theta over cos theta d theta. Now we are really close to the solution now. We can see sine theta is the box over here. And in the fraction, if you have differentiation of denominator in the numerator, you are really close to the uh, integral, which would be log of denominator. So we're going to pack differentiation of box along with the integral signs, these will go away and this will become log of sine theta. And for the second part of this integral, what we're going to do is cos is going to become the box. Differentiation of cos should be present in the numerator to do the same. So differentiation of cos is minus sine theta. So I will have to introduce a negative over here and introduce minus one outside. For, to pay off for the imbalance. And now I have differentiation of box in the numerator. So we are going to make that disappear as well. And this will become minus, plus into minus will become minus log of cos theta. And this whole thing is being divided by two outside. Now we know when two logarithms are being divided, they are being subtracted, they can, the arguments can be divided. So this, if this is converted to a single logarithm, it would become one by two log of sine theta over cos theta. And this will become one by two log of tan theta. And again, I'm using modulus symbols because all the trigonometric functions are usually positive for the half cycle and negative for the half cycle. For the negative half cycle, we have to use the absolute function to keep it positive so that the argument of a logarithm does not go negative. This is the final answer for this integration. So 
In today's video, we learned that not all integrations are possible under A-level syllabus. Uh, sometimes you come across really hard integrals and they can't be integrated directly. Do not worry about them. They are not isolated parts. They will always come under this type where you will have an identity to be proven in the first part. Use that identity to make subject of thing that you have to integrate in the second part. This is a common technique. I also have made like some worksheets, some experience uh, some study material regarding this there are videos which teach this tactic as well on my channel so if you have learned something new please share this video with your friends as well if you have queries if you have questions or if you have any suggestions leave them in the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as possible see you in the next video goodbye